Well, hello there, and welcome to uh, a late shave for me. I meant to do my video yesterday, but it's St. Patrick's Day still here. It's uh, the evening time, St. Patrick's night, I guess you could call it. And I'm going to apply some of this Perazzo menthol and eucalyptus pre-shave. I'm going to lather up my brush with the soap, and I shall return. Well, I'm prepped with the menthol and eucalyptus pro razzo the giant sized tub there, and I have lathered my brush. My razor is going to be this four piece travel razor. It says SB somewhere on here. Uh, well, it, it, there's like a little shield and it says SB on there. I might have it upside down, I'm not sure. But uh, the only thing in keeping with St. Patrick's Day is this came disassembled in this little green thing that you can slip in your vest pocket. My brush is going to be the Il Marchese Emerald brush in keeping with the Emerald Island. And um, you can see the coin on there. And my soap is going to be this Sterling Barbershop soap, which comes in a green tub. And I'll go ahead and try to get a lather started here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wet the brush just a little bit here. And this brush is a nice, nice brush with a resin handle and a Manchurian knot on it. It was one of my pricier brushes, but I think it's worth every penny. I've got the sink filled with a little bit of water. I just gotta hope the phone doesn't fall into that. The phone I'm using as a camera. I'm trying to get a nice lather going because someone mentioned that some of my lathers, although they worked for me and were comfortable, they were not the big Santa Claus beard type lathers. So this might be a little bit more Santa Clausy on St. Patrick's Day. I guess I wouldn't need a tub full of water. I could just have a cup full of water to occasionally just dip the tips of the bristles in here. I find that that works better than trying to put a drop of water from the tap onto the brush. I don't know why. Maybe maybe I get too much water when I try to get just a drop out of the tap or I don't sprinkle it on with my hands like the hoity-toity people do according to Paul H. That's not too bad. I don't know if that's perfect but it's a nice lather. It seems to be about the way I would like it to be. So I'll begin pass number one, which will be with the grain. And I hope you're all doing well out there. I'll just go ahead and wet the brush in the sink there. And I do have some protection on this phone. It's uh, water resistant should it fall in the sink, but I'll probably drain that water after the bit, after a bit here. Bye bye bye. Oh, and incidentally also, I forgot to tell you, this isn't a green tuck, but it's a dollar blade, dollar platinum blade on its second use there. There you are. Okay. So, so far so good. Let's hope this uh, shave continues to be as comfortable as just the first few strokes have been here. I flip it over. 
and enjoy the benefits of double edge shaving where one ostensibly only has to rinse the razor half as much due to there being another edge to the blade, you know. And now I will rinse the razor. <coughs> Draining the water now. I usually use the tap to rinse the razor. I notice I always seem to have a couple of subscribers coming and going. I don't know if it's the same ones. But I did have 265 subscribers, and now it's down to 263. Maybe a few more will abandon ship after this. When Paul H., uh, who I, of whom I am not really worthy to speak, hence, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. Yes, that guy, when he mentioned me and linked to my channel a couple of times on his channel, I got, oh, I think that 20 and 20, 40 more subscribers, but there always seems to be a couple that are just like, I'm not sure I can take this anymore, and they kind of abandon ship. And something like that's happened every time I've had a boom in subscribers, or a boon. A blessing of more subscribers for whatever reason. There will always be those one or two people that are like, I'm not so sure about this. <clears throat> if you really want to be scared, go back and I forget what video it is. I forget the number or the sequence, but it is one where I use a small tube of Gillette menthol cream. And that one has a puppet and a blind guy playing a keyboard in it. That, that's interesting. Excuse me. Nice audio feedback. And I'm sure the blade has something to do with it, but... A more comfortable shave with this razor uh, than I remember getting any time in recent memory, perhaps uh, since I've had the razor. I've had this razor a couple of years, at least, and I just don't, I don't use it all that often. This may be my fifth or sixth time using it in two years. I do have a number of razors, but there's always somebody out there that has more. So being that my, uh, being that my budget isn't what I would like it to be, and let's face it, who besides the rich or the super rich have a budget that they would like to have? And then even Warren Buffett and Bill Gates probably, uh, Try to be thrifty, I suppose. I know Warren Buffett does. He allows himself, or used to allow himself, an allowance of only $100,000 a year out of his billions. I'm not sure if that tra uh, covered his travels or not, but he bought his suits off the rack. And I'm done with pass number one. That was nice so far. I will come back. I'll pop out, pop right back in. You'll barely notice it. There'll be a transition here, and I will begin to go uh, do it with me, folks, across the grain. I'll let you watch me lather up on this one since I didn't do that on the first pass, which I usually do, but I just wanted to make sure I had some idea what I was doing. This is something that makes it feel better for me. 
I'll go ahead and put a little bit of water in this sink again. I don't know if this is necessary, but just a little bitty teeny weeny drop into the uh, just a drop of the brush into the sink and that helps me make sure that I'm not getting too pasty of a lather in fact I might have even overdone it a little because I had wet my face this time between passes which also helped or was helping I'm trying to get that nice thick lather going which you usually get anyway with this soap. But I'm finding, or I have found, I guess about a year ago or more, I began to discover that some brushes are better for some jobs than others. And that's not too bad. I know there are those of you that can make a much nicer lather than that, but my excuse, I guess, is the water here. This time I'll just dip the razor into the water I got there and begin uh, pass number two across the grain here. Maybe I lost some people because uh, a couple of my recent shaves turned into uh, lectures about the history of streetcars, especially in, in the Midwest and Great Plains of the United States, in cities that were often rather small then and got large later, or large-ish. But you could take those stories and realize very quickly if you did any serious or even just some armchair studies on that topic, that there are parallels throughout the cities all across the United States, and to a certain extent, probably even in Europe and other parts of the world. Well, I can tell you this shave is very comfortable still. I am enjoying it. Now it's time to rinse the razor with the faucet. First, I'll go ahead and drain that water. <clears throat> All right. I've been having some lovely shaves off camera. Usually I do these shaves Tuesday, late Tuesday night or early Tuesday morning. And for most parts of the world, except maybe Hawaii, uh, they are uploaded sometime relatively early on Tuesday. Well, here it is Tuesday, St. Patrick's Day, and I had completely forgotten Yesterday, I'd forgotten what day it was and didn't seem to care. I was happy in my own way. And with so social distancing, uh, as usual, the studio, or as usually is usual, the studio is empty here. Uh, that, that usually is the case. The old necessity room from whence I come to you almost live is empty except for me no puppets no guy in the hallway playing a keyboard and singing country songs and yodeling very talented guy blind man who taught himself piano and other instruments so If you haven't seen that video, maybe you owe it to yourself. I do have a little weeper here, but not even a sting from it, so I won't worry too much. Yeah. 
continuing on again. I guess I did let you watch me lather up on that first pass. What it was I didn't let you see was me actually lathering the brush on the tub. And sometimes when I want a really good lather, or at least a decent one, that is sometimes a more time-consuming thing than you would say it, or than you might think it would be. So that's what confused me. I, yeah, I guess I did let you watch me lather up on the first and now the second pass. But it might give you some idea of how I'm doing some of my shaves lately. I suppose a quick look at some of these videos will show what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. But sometimes it does pay to stick around till the, the bitter end because I've had so many shaves and like I still get this little weeper up here that comes and goes, but I've had so many shaves where the shave itself was either uncomfortable or there was something wrong with it in some other way, but that it turned out the feel and the scent of, of the aftershave and so much made me feel good for uh, several hours afterwards. Well, now I'm going to pop out, pop right back in, and uh, then we'll go against the grain. Well, hello again. Time to go against the grain. Fairly good lather. I'm happy with it. I remember back in the day when I first got started, and before I ever did any videos or anything, before I even had a smartphone to record on, although I might have had a camera and a laptop that I didn't use at that time, I uh, remember getting pretty good shaves with the Vanderhagen soaps you could buy in the store, an antique uh, twist to open Gillette of some sort that I had gotten for $4 at an antique store, and occasionally uh, another soap you could buy in the supermarket or sometimes a drugstore maybe. The, uh, the, the cheap, and I do mean cheap, Williams soap, the contemporary version that didn't lather worth a darn, but it did provide a slickness. And so even with that, I would have fairly decent shaves. I couldn't complain. The closest I could get to a Santa Claus lather in those days would have been with the Vander Hagen or an, a cream that I found that you could buy at Bath and Body Works, the uh, C.O. Bigelow, which is Perazzo cream uh, relabeled, excuse me. I hope you all are well and I hope that none of you have the uh, COVID-19 or whatever it's called, the coronavirus. If you do, I hope, uh, I hope it's rather uneventful to you and nothing, nothing so bad as a cold or a flu, a common flu, I mean. And uh, I'm fairly well stocked up on food and toilet paper. I don't know how that will be a few weeks from now. Hopefully everyone can keep their calm. A strange, strange way to start the 2020s. I had better hopes for this decade. And hopefully this will be, although a major flash in the pan, I hope it's still merely a flash in the pan, so to speak. A friend of mine over in China, Ming Li, who does the frank shaving brushes, he says that they are doing much better over there. And that he was hoping the best for all of us elsewhere in the world. And I think he's a genuinely good fellow. Okay, excuse me. So... 
Don't let that scare you if possible. The virus that's going around and don't let conversational shaving scare you. The two of you that are probably really not the same people, but the two, <clears throat> excuse me, the two of you statistically that go away and come back, I'm sure that's not what's really happening. I'm taking one step forward and one step back. And I think some people give up when they can't get the 1,000 subscribers right away to start making that half a penny per ad or whatever of Facebook money. But uh, if I'm able to, I'd like to stick with this for a while. One of these days, and it might not be soon, it might be a year from now, <clears throat> I might... Well, I would like to do a contest where at least one of you can win a conversational shaving brush. That's the only thing I sell on this channel, really, and I don't make any money off of it. And I don't intend to make any money off of it. It's more of a point of pride. And I think uh, Frank Lee did such a good job of making that brush to my, to my specification that came out exactly the way I would have liked it to. Okay, time to rinse the razor, and uh, then we'll come back and it'll be pickup time. Okay, it's pickup time, folks. There's the magic clock that lets us know the obvious, because I've already said it's pickup time. And I uh, haven't had to go back to the tub yet, so this brush is doing a very good job of holding lather. So that's something to celebrate. Another little weeper over here. And another, huh? No pain, just inconvenience. Some cold water will probably take care of those weepers. Let's see. Second use on this blade, if I didn't say so already, but I think I said that. Just a very pleasant shave, and I noticed I was getting quiet just now and just enjoying the shave. And you may still be able to hear some audio feedback. I can hear it, but a lot of it's right there by my ear. Kind of in a trouble spot or an area that, a trouble area, a trouble spot. I'm gonna wet the razor. Uh, Rinse and wet the razor for just kind of a little final touch up here. Let's see how this, oh, this, this trouble spot over here is almost, almost completely taken care of. There's something there, but uh, not a lot. Yeah, just a little bit. And then there'll be another one over here, more than likely. And I don't like to go too crazy on these because I can give myself irritation, but um, I'll go very lightly.
Well, that's about it, folks. That's a nice shave for me. My uh, face always gets a little bit red after a shave. It also gets red if I go out in the sun for even a moment or if I bend over to pick something up. So uh, I'm happy and I feel good. And uh, the necessity room smells good with that barbershop soap. And uh, I'm going to rinse the razor, rinse the brush, and rinse my face. I'll be back with our good friend, Mr. Tao. Here's our good friend, Mr. Tao, to help us out today. Ah. Mm. Yeah, it is. Mm. Boy, that was nice. Um, well, let me begin a bit of a recap, and then I'll put the finishing touches on this here shave. I began off-camera. I prepped my face with the Prorazzo Menthol and Eucalyptus Pre-Shave Cream, the large size, which is 30 milliliters or 10.9 ounces. And there's some green involved there for St. Patrick's Day. My razor, which comes in this, has been this four-piece SB travel razor, which I got on Etsy a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. And, oh, let's see, my brush has been this emerald, uh, it's a nice resin handle, Manchurian knot, sort of a fan knot, I think they call that, uh, double band uh, from Il Marquis, um, over in Italy there, and there's their coin with their top hat and mustache. My soap in a green container, as sterling soaps are wont to be, the sterling barbershop soap. Very nice. And let's see, am I missing anything? Well, my blade, which is in a blue top mostly, is on its second use was the dollar platinum blade right there. Okay, now very little green involved on this except for a picture of the plant there. The Equate Witch Hazel store brand of Walmart. And it gets the job done. Put some of that on. And I've got to hurry up because I'm running over here. Don't want to have to cut too much out of the video. Okay. And I give you the green Barbasol Brisk aftershave. Good stuff. Oh, that's plenty. It's got kind of a wide restrictor on there, so something to be aware of. Ah, oh. that is nice, that is nice. And finally, in keeping with just about everything else, also in green, the Sterling Barbershop Post Shave Balm, right there. A little bit of that in the hand. As I begin to apply this, I must also begin to say goodbye to you. because I'm about out of time here. That's pretty nice, and it'll be even nicer as it soaks in. Very nice scents, very nice shave, and very nice company, even though you're not here and we're social distancing ourselves. But uh, we'll try to be back at the ordinary bat time and the same bat channel next week. Peace.